Hello and welcome to Sudo Canard. Here is a taxicab guru puzzle by my good friend Glam Hippo. He made two such puzzles last year and they were uh, absolutely incredibly difficult. And this one is said to be more approachable. But um, first, let, let me state the rules. Well, we have standard Kakuro rules and I assume that you're familiar with the rules of Kakuro. And the variant states that two cells containing a, a same digit, x, must not have a taxicab distance equal to x. Well, what is the taxicab distance between two cells? Well, let's say we take this cell and this cell, then the taxicab distance is the sum of the horizontal gap, here it is 3, and the vertical gap, which is 2 in this case, and so the taxicab distance is 5, 3 plus 2. And if you take the standard chess knight move, it has a taxicab distance of 3. And the constraint that we add in this puzzle is that two cell well if you have a digit here then it must not be repeated at a taxi cap distance of this digit for example this three could never be here or there that's the standard knight's move or here that's a distance of three and so if we put a five here then one two three four five this could not be a five and this could not no this could not be a five this could not be a five this and this and this obviously and we have a kind of kind of region here that surrounds at distance five and all of these cells are forbidden from containing a 5. Okay, let's begin. First, there are some, some constraints by standard Kaku rule. That 4 can only be done with 1 and 3. And you see that this can never be a 3. Well, for several reasons, actually. If this were a 3, then this would have to be 11 to fulfill this 15 clue, so that wouldn't work anyway. And here we also have 1 and 3. Here we have all... 16 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. And... 21 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here we, ha we have 1, 2, 3, and 5. But then there are 24 ways of putting the digits in those cells. No, one couldn't be here. Well, all of this is not very useful. But then there must be some constraint here. We can see that this is two less than this because that's ten that's eight this is two more than this so this will have to be three four or six together with one two or four but four won't work here so this is three or four that is some restriction here Oh, this is at most 6, and this as well, so this is um, I think 2 wouldn't work here, yes, 2 would need this to be at least 7, 3 wouldn't work, this would have to be 8, and it's not allowed, 1, 2, 3 won't work, Four would work with a with a five here. So this is four or six. 
we could have four, three, five. Oh, actually, we could have four with the three and the five, or six with the one and the five, or six and. Should this always be a five? It looks like it. I don't think anything else could work. Six wouldn't work. Five is not allowed in the 16. A four wouldn't work. It would require a five here as well. Okay, so this is And the option 4 and 3 wouldn't work because this 4 would make this a 3 and this 3 would, con would conflict with this one by, uh, by the taxicab constraints. So it must be like this. So that is a 6. Now I'll still need 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is not 3. As you might have noticed, this is not three either. Either. Oh, and by the way, what well, this cell now must be seven or six. Not sure that's important right now. So I, I was saying one, two, three, and four. Well. Not sure what to do with that. Oh, I was saying that a three wouldn't go there because those cells see both cells here. So three wouldn't go there. Could it go here? Three is not here. This has to be pretty big, actually, because this is at most 9, so this plus that must be at least 6. So with 1, only 6 would work. With 3, only 4 and 6 would work. So this is 4 or 6. So this is 5, 7 or 9. 5 wouldn't be enough, 7 or 9, make this 8 or 6, oh, but no, 6 with 3 would make would repeat the 6, so that's 7 anyway, and we get an 8 and a 5, that's 8, we still need 2 and 4 here. So 3 could be in any one of those cells. No, 3 wouldn't work here. Oh, that's true. With 28, 28 has only two decompositions. So only 6 and, and 4 work here. So now we get this 2, this 4. And this 4 sees this cell. That's a taxi cab distance of four, so this one is a six, this is a four, we get this three, one, and three. And one and three there. This four now makes this a three, with a seven and a one. And now one and two, and seven. We get this three and this one. Okay, and in here I still need 9, 8, and 5. 5 wouldn't work here, so this is 8 or 9, together with 2 or 1. There has to be a 5 somewhere, and this sees this cell, so 5 has to go here. 8 or 9 here. Now, what 
what other restrictions in these cells? Three wouldn't go here. It could be here. I'm not sure I see anything else. Let's do some math. Let's do some math with this region. This region has a total of 38, 53, 62. Total of 62 in this red region. But here we have 42, meaning that the remaining four cells add up to 20. Here is seven. So this plus that is 13. So this one is 504. No. But this 4 sees this 4 by the taxi cab. So this has to be a 5, and this is an 8, this is a 9. And that's a 2. I can remove this. power of math. Now those must be 1 and 3. This is there any restriction? Yes, this can't be a 7 because of this 7. This can't be a 9. So if this 15 is 6 plus 9 then put them in this order. And if this is 7 plus 8, then 7 is on the left. And I don't think this 8 sees any of the other 8s. No, they don't. This one is too far away from this. So I get nothing more except that. Can I know more about this? Let's have a look. Four options. And we need to go to 20 with the fourth digit. That's 19. This would need to be a 1. Not possible. That's 18. This would need to be a 2. And this a 7. That seems to work. Here, that's 17, that would be a 3, not allowed. So we already know that this is a 6, and that is a 9. And last possibility, that's 16, so we need here a 4 and here a 5, but 5 is not allowed, not allowed by those fives but this one so this is really here two and seven with three here and one there right this part is done let's move further oh here three oh no this can still be a three and four. So this can't be a three. This can't be a four. So if this five is two plus three, then that's the order. And if it's one and four, then that's the order. Next, this is one, two, three, and five. And because of this, this has to be two or five. And I don't think any five rules this possibility out. Is there anything with this? No. Oh, something I haven't mentioned since the beginning of this video. 
this I know instantly that this nine is not seen by those because of the checkered pattern which allows me to to check instantly parity if two cells are the same background color then the taxi cap distance has to be even so I know that the distance here is even it can't be nine and the same with this six with this and those cells the distance must be odd here the distance is even but it's equal to four so no issue with that oh this three sees both cells here so three has to go here together with an eight so we get oh that's beautiful those cells I mean if two is here then two sees this cell this cell and this cell this one well just by a straight line and those by the taxi cab distance so two here would prevent this 11 from getting its due to so this can't be a two this has to be a two and we get a one and a five here there's no five in a white cell and is there anything with that no those eights are too close and there's no four on a white cell so none of those are to be excluded right now where where should i look next is it this 23 is it this seven this can't be a two but that's not very useful really nothing about this no oh so here we need all digits from one to six i don't think there's as much that can be ruled out hmm. still nothing about this now How would a one here work? If this is a one, then we need the remaining three cells to add up to 22, which would mean nine, eight, five, or nine, seven, and six. So if this is a one, six here won't work because the remaining digits seven and nine would be too big here. So if this is a one, then this has to be a nine. And then only six here and seven there will work. And as it happens, they will work. Six here and seven there raise no issue. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Something I've been missing for a few minutes this has to be a six because of the 11 clue <laughs> okay so now one is ruled out because one and six would need seven and nine and nothing would fit here so that's a five that's a one 11 we need another 12 without using the five so there must be four eight or three nine so this one has to be four or three. Oh, and actually this one can't be eight. So we get a nine here, a three there, and a four in this cell. Right. This four doesn't see any of those cells, so it doesn't help, but this one makes this an eight. 
M. And I must find something new now. What am I to find? Is there anything I can do with this? Well, this is not an 8, obviously. It's not a 4 because of this. It's not a 7. It's not a 9. That, yes, that's 9. What can it, what is, what is, is impossible? Three and five don't seem to be excluded. What about six? This six, two is possible. So that's one, two, three, or five. I think. And the sum must be 13. And this is at most 6 because of the 21 sum here. At most 6. So 6 would work with 2 and 5, with 4 and 3, but 1 and 2 here are too small. So this has to be 3 or 5. This is odd. This is even. So the sum is odd. And this must be even. Is 4 a possibility? It looks like it is. Nothing here. So no, 2 wouldn't work. And actually, 4 wouldn't work. 4 would make this a 2. And that wouldn't be enough. So it has to be a 6. And those have a sum of 7. This can't be a 5. It can't be a 3. It can't be a 6. So it's 1, 2, or 4. If this is a 2, then this is not a 2. Here, this one is not a 4. It's not a 5. It's not a 3. So it has to be 1 or 2. And I think that this disambiguates that. I mean that if this is a 2, then this can't be a 2. But if it's not a 2, then this is a 1, and this can't be a 1. So we have mm, convergence of scenarios here. Now, where will 5 be? 5, well, actually, all the remaining positions can have a 5. A 3 can't be here. But three can be here and three can be there. What about five? There's no obstruction to five here or there. Hmm. Well, that's definitely not the, the struggle that I remember enduring last year, but that's not an easy puzzle either. Is there something with this cell? It can't be a 5. Well, 5 wouldn't work in a, a 10 sum, actually. We know that this can't be a 2 or a 3. 
So 2 and 8 are excluded. Neither of them can be a 3. So 3 and 7 are excluded. Only 1, 9 and 4, 6 remain. I don't think any of those cells is seen by a 4 or a 6. What about the 9? This does see this cell, I think. Yes, this can't be a 9. So we are left with 9, 1, 4, 6, and 6, 4. What about 4 here? That's 6. We need 8 and 9. Eight wouldn't work here because of that. And that's it. Nine. Well, not doesn't doesn't seem to be any immediate deduction with that. can I see this no, is not a three so it has to be <laughs> one two four five that's too many options I'm still checking on that I'm not missing any uh, other elimination here Still looking for stuff to erase. Is there anything here? I can't do the proper math because I don't have this sum. Although there might be something. Here I have 38. And here. 51, removing this, that's 47, let's have a look, so the common part, I highlight the common part in red, here's the common part. And let's label the remaining cells. Let's say A, B, C, D, and E. What do we get by arithmetics? The horizontal sum, that's 12. Let's say 17 here. That's 29, 47. 47 is red plus A plus D. And let's sum things vertically. O oh, plus E, sorry. And vertically we have 38, which is red plus B plus C. So by subtracting, we get that A plus D plus E is B plus C plus 9, which seems to be not very useful, I'm afraid, except that D and E are not that big. 
there are at most nine. If this is a five, and can it be a five? Yes, it can. So the most we can have for d plus e is nine with five and four. And in this case, if d and e are five and four, then a must be b plus c. And I don't see what I could do with that. <laughs> that seems to be a nice piece of, of, of trying something, but I, I'm not sure I can make any interesting deduction. Bobbins. I may be overcomplicating things, but knowing my friend Hippo, I wouldn't put it past him to use such devious deductions. Okay, so now this is not a 9. Let's have a look at this 15. This is not an 8. So this is not a 9, seen by this 9 and this 9. This is not an 8, as I was mentioning. So if this 15 is 6 plus 9, then 9 must be on top. Together with this 6, which looks to be still possible. And if this is 7 and 8, then 8 has to be on the blue cell. This one is too far away. Now this puts some pressure on what happens here. 9 would need this to be 1, 2, 3. And I see no issue with that. Seven would have them this be a four or five. And there's no issue with any of those. Well, not useful. Hmm. The bobbins is strong with this one. Well, well, well. Is there anything with this thirteen? This one can't be a 6, it can't be an 8, it can't be a 7, it can still be a 4. So, so 4 looks still possible, 5 as well. So 6 is not, 7 is not, 8 is not, but 9 remains. What about here? This 9 is possible, this 8 is possible, and this 4 is possible. Unless this is a 4, but it's uh, too early to, to decide on this. But only three options here.
And these three numbers must have a sum of 21. If this is 9 or 4, then this has to be 4, 8 or 9 as well. 8 wouldn't work because of this. But 4 and 9 would work well. So if this is not a 6, then this has to be an 8. Can this really be a 6? It looks like it can. But if this is a 6, then we need another 15. And guess what? This will only work with an 8. Yes, I think that's it. If I make this a 4, then I need 9 and 8. And 8 is forbidden from, from this cell because of this. So 4 here would never work. If I make this a 9, then I need another 12, which can only be achieved with 4 and 8, which is impossible as well. So this has to be an 8, and this is a 5. Wow. This one was well hidden. Now, that's 10. We need another 13. So this is 4, 9, or 7. But 7 is ruled out by this 7. So this is not 7. That's not 6. That's not 4. We get a 4, 9 pair. And then, and then this 9 is impossible because of the 16, because now if we put 9 and 3, that's 12, we need another 4, which will be 1 and 3, and 3 will repeat. So that's a 4, that's a 9, that's a 1. And we need another 9 here without using 3 or 4. So what remains is 2 plus, no, sorry, 2 plus 7, 1 plus 8. This won't be a 1. And I don't think the other candidates can be ruled out. doesn't look like it could. Well, this can be a one, so I already said that, I think. So we have two, seven, or in this order, and one, eight, and one. But there's no condition here. So it seems to be all that we can do here. Now we see that 4 does not appear here. It can still be here. So 4 is here or there. Oh, oh, <laughs> four doesn't work here. Because if I make this a four, then by the taxi cab constraint, this becomes a two, and two removes the, the option that any of those cells be two. And those will have to be both once. That doesn't work. Wow. Well, not sure that was intended. <laughs> so no four here. No four there. No four there. So four is here. And that is really spectacular. What next? 
I still need one, two, three, and five. Five is not here. Three is not here. So this is one or two. And three and five remain in those cells. Here I get something interesting. Three and six would need a five there. And this five would conflict with this five because three here would make this a five, forbidding this from being a five. So three wouldn't work with the six and it wouldn't work with the eight because it would repeat the three. So this is a five, this is a three. Now, six would make this a three, which would conflict with this one. So this has to be an eight. This is a seven and we get a one here. <laughs> well, this is definitely more approachable than the puzzles from last year, but those are still really, really this is really difficult. Now, we must have a sum of 8 here. 1 and 2 make this a, a 5, which is compatible with the rest. And 3 and 1 make this a 4, which seems to be compatible with the rest as well. Hmm. So now I still have two stories pending. Oh, there was that thing with arithmetic. So this is not nine. That's D plus E. D plus E is now seven. So we get A equals B plus C plus two. Those are B and C, this is A. So this A is a somewhat big digit, it's not a three. It's not, I don't know what else. <laughs> Probably not the way to the place I should be looking. That's seven, so these two digits have a sum of 14, so four options, oh, and as usual, eight won't be written because of some glitch of my app. And let's see what is impossible. Five here says this five, one down. This eight sees this cell, so that's not an 8. This 6 sees this cell, so on the option 5 here and 9 there. Now I just hope it doesn't break. There's no 9 on the blue cell, okay, and 5 on the white cell doesn't appear either. So this works. Here I need 15 as well, or 14, sorry. And this is not a 5, obviously. This can still be a 5. Can this be an 8 or a 6? This one is at distance 6, so there's no issue with that. I don't think any of those is impossible right now. So let's put, oh, but no, a nine here. No, as I said, that, that didn't seem to be an issue. So five, six, eight here, nine, eight, six here. No, eight doesn't work in this cell because of this eight. Nope, 
issue with nine with six no this six is too far away this one is too far as well Five here, make this one and two. Nine, eight here, we'll make those one and three. But three doesn't go here. No, three doesn't go here, sorry. Because of the taxi cab distance. So this could still be a three. Eight, nine, three, and one. I still can't resolve any of this, I think. Unless the, I missed an easy deduction, and I've been missing the deduction for ages. Well. Oh, hey, here, this else is this. This six, this else is this four, so this, well, six wouldn't have worked anyway with this 12, so it can't be a six, it can't be a four, but it has to be big enough for this 12 to work. Can't be six or four, it could still be three or five. Together with nine or seven, but, Nine and seven don't conflict with anything in the grid. Okay, but this would have to be four in the first case and two in the second case. This two would conflict with this one, but we still don't know what digit this is. Or do we? Four here. Oh, I think that's it. Four here would make this a one, this a three, and this a two. And four here would make this a two, which would make this two impossible. So four here can be ruled out. So that's a five, that's a two, that's a one, that's a four, and that's a three. This is a one. This is not a one, that's not an eight. And that's six, we still need 13. And we've got some big digits going on here. I think seven here will raise real issues because seven will need six and nine, but six here doesn't go there. So seven will make it this a six and this a nine. And I'm sure this nine is some here. Oh no, it's too far away. This one perhaps. Yes, this one can't be a nine. And this one can't be a six, so this can't be a seven. So now what will those be? This is not a five, this is not a five because of this, so we still need six and seven, and because of this six doesn't go there. So that's a seven, that's a six. And that's a two, which now this ambiguates this 7 2 pair. That's really some tricky puzzle. Let's move on to this part. Still some work to do. I don't think anything we've placed lately disambiguates that, so we need to have a closer look to what happens here. I don't think 
those letters are of any use. Let's have a look at the options. 9 and 5 make those 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. 9 and 8 here looks to be a better, better choice for study because 9 and 8 make those 1 and 3 and because of this 3 must go there. So let's have a look. 9, 8, 3, 1. So that's 8, that's 6, 11. We still need 6 here. Those will have to be 4 and 2. And 4 doesn't go here. So that's 4, that's 2. And 7 here. And I don't see this 7. Oh, yes. 7 conflicts with this one. So I was right in taking this option first. So this is not an 8. So we get this 9 and this 5. So we need here 1 and 2. Fourteen. We need another seven. So we now know that seven is not two plus five because of this. So one six or three four. This is not a three. This is not a four. So this is one and six, and this six makes this not a six. So this is a six. That's a one. And we get two here and a nine there. So now I must check that this six is in no conflict. And it is in no conflict. And this nine. No, this one is too far away. Nine is here. And that doesn't seem to be any conflict with the nine either. And this now must be the solution to this taxicab group puzzle by Glam Hippo. And it was definitely much more approachable than the puzzles from last year. But that was quite the adventure anyway. So, my good friend Hippo, thanks for those really, really special puzzles, as usual. See you soon on Sudokanar.